It has been 12 years since the tragic shootings at Columbine High School. The legacy of one student is still being felt today. News Channel 5's Bob Finner reports how some Northeast Ohio students are honoring that legacy by accepting Rachel's challenge. Rachel Scott always illustrated the need for a kinder, more compassionate nation in her writings and drawings. Even though she was the first person killed at Columbine High School, her father started Rachel's Challenge in her memory. The goal? To start a chain reaction of kindness nationwide. Following a visit from Rachel's uncle, Normandy High School students decided to accept the challenge in February. I thought it was really moving, and it made me want to like try to include everyone and like act differently. The school's Friends of Rachel Club has 150 members. They walked in the March of Dimes' March for Babies fundraiser this past Sunday. Tonight, they hosted a fundraising dinner for a young man with health issues. They are even collecting beauty products for local shelters. They are passing on Rachel's legacy by helping others. Rachel's challenge, it's her plan was to make everyone feel welcome and no one to be an outcast. She wanted everyone to feel kindness. It's really like amazing that so many people would want to be involved in a club like this. Advisors feel heightened awareness has empowered young people to be kind to others. Students hope the club will grow bigger each year. I just advise everyone who is watching this to join Rachel's Challenge and accept Rachel's Challenge because it can definitely do a whole lot of good in the world. In Parma, Bob Fenner, News Channel 5. Well, the goal of the club for next year is to keep adding names to the chain links of kindness.